It's uh, Ms. Phyllis. Um, my name is Phyllis Walla Catania. I am the education coordinator at the Ohio Craft Museum. And I also am in charge of summer camps that are usually at the museum five weeks during the summer. Um, this year, of course, with the virus, we are doing things just a little bit differently and not meeting physically at the museum, unfortunately. But we've come up with an alternative that we think will be fun. Um, we can still be creative together and um, make some art. So I am going to talk to you a little bit about paper making. It's going um, with the Art Camp box number one, Recycle Art. We do a week of Recycle Art every summer at the museum and we are incorporating items that we would normally recycle or reuse or pass them on to somebody else and we are turning them into art. And of course, at home I recycle a lot of paper and at the museum too, we do a lot of recycling of paper. I am gonna show you um, the steps involved in making paper. And recently when I was um, at the museum before we closed in March, I realized that we had these kind of these bird shaped um, pieces of paper that I think probably were used many years ago to create bird hats is what I'm thinking they were used for. You may not see this on camera, but these are pretty faded and tattered pieces of paper. And instead of recycling them, um, I decided to put them through my shredder and shred the paper and then this next step after shredding them was to place them in a big bucket of water and soak them. And these have been soaking for 24 hours. So they're nice and soft and um, pliable. My next step will be that I'm using an old blender I have that's just for um, using for art. I don't put any food in this blender. It's just an, a nice old blender um, and it's very handy for making paper. And so I am going to place some of the shredded paper into the blender and I am going to mash it up and make it into a pulp. What you have in your kit is a basically a dried up piece of pulp. So it's already gone through this process and it was then dried so that we could then include it in your kit and you could work from it like that. So hopefully, if you haven't yet, you need to start soaking that little um, kind of little hockey puck shaped piece of pu dried pulp and if you get some hot water and just a little bowl and put that in there, you can start soaking that and getting that soft enough so that we can uh, continue with our project. All right, I'm back. So I saved you the loud blender noises and I've already whipped up what looks like to be some really great green smoothie, but it is not. It is actually the paper pulp. So I've already poured a couple of um, blender fulls in here and I am going to put yet one more in here. And um, I don't know if you, you probably can't really see that, but it's basically um, a very watered down green pulpy paper mixture that I've made. And I've got it in a um, just a storage container. You can um, also, you won't have this much. So if you find a, a, a storage container at home that's about half this size, and um, or even like a little baking tray, um, something like that, that'll work just as well.
So what we're going to need today to make our paper is, of course, we're going to need this pulp, which you just saw me blend up. And I've actually put it in a 9 by 13 baking dish. It's not the prettiest thing, but most people would have this at home. So that's where you would put your pulp. And you've been soaking your pulp in the water for um, probably overnight by now. And this is where what it should kind of look like. It's very watery, but you will see the clumps of the pulp in there. Also, what you're going to need is you're going to need some, probably a pretty thick towel folded um, to absorb some of the moisture from the paper, and maybe another finer, this is like a microfiber cloth to blot the moisture out of the paper. You're also going to, um, out of your kit, you'll notice that this is the little mold and decal, that it's, this is what it's called, or a frame and decal. Basically, it's just a fancy name for a frame with a piece of screen in it so that you can make your paper by dipping it into the pulp and um, drying out the paper afterwards. Because of Recycle Week, we um, are using, do you know what we're using here? So we took a foam tray like that and we cut a piece out of it. This would have gone in here like that. We cut that out, pop that out. We're going to save this because we're going to need this later. And with a piece of screen, yes, like a screen, a window screen, um, and some duct tape, I taped the screen with the duct tape onto the foam food tray. Okay, pretty simple. Also in your kit, you um, have some, you have a, a little sample of a carpet tile. It's nice and sturdy. And you're going to wrap a couple pieces of paper towel around it um, so that when we go to pop out our paper, homemade, handmade paper, it will rest on this um, and be absorbed by the paper towel. Now you might need a little bit more than this, but this is what we're going to start off with. Okay, so let's get started. So um, now that we've got our pulp, we're going to bring that over here. We're going to um, kind of mix that around just a little bit. I know for you kids, it's going to be fun to play in that because it's kind of goopy feeling. And what we're going to do next is called pulling sheets. So pulling sheets. You're going to, at a kind of a 45 degree angle, you're going to go into this vat of pulp and just kind of go in and get some pulp there on your uh, little frame and decal. You're going to take it out of the water and you're going to let it start to drain. You're going to continue letting it drain until hardly any water is coming out. I'm just kind of moving it lightly back and forth. And getting most of the water out. Okay. When most of that water is out, we're going to move that aside and we are going to bring that towel over here and put this on and we are going to slowly start pushing this towel. down to get some of that moisture out of that paper. So we're just kind of gently pushing. Some of the moisture out. And if you have a sponge, this is a great thing for a sponge too. I did not have a sponge. 
and I'm just using this towel which is working just as well okay and when you get the majority of that moisture out and you know, you're going to now um, couch your um, paper which means that you're going to um, kind of bring it here and Yes, look at that. Just came right out, didn't it now? Might need a little help. And there it goes. Now we are going to continue patting and kind of fixing that piece of paper. You can see here I've got a little bit of um, a hole I see there and I'm just going to get a little bit of my um, pulp and I'm just going to fix that little hole right now so I can do that now. Um, and so there you go. That, that green is pretty dark. It's going to dry um, lighter of course once most of the moisture is pulled out of it. Um, what you can do is place some absorbent um, towel on it and continue to um, push out the moisture. You can also, um, if you have a rolling pin like this, you can also, also roll some of that moisture out. Make sure you're just going in one direction though on that. And so now you can see that paper is really looking awesome. And we've got to let it dry for a while. And so um, to dry, and if we just left this out, this paper would curl up and it would not remain flat. Um, we want this to stay flat. So what you're going to do is um, just leave it on this little carpet square that you've got it on for right now and you can put some more paper towel over it or you can simply just take a, um, a towel that's a, a dry towel and just kind of place that over it and then maybe get something a little heavier um, like some books or you could put a um, cutting board and then pile some books on top of this and then you're going to check it you know you're going to check it every um, like maybe tomorrow you can check it and see how much it's drying um, it out and then you can and maybe then you can take take it off the paper towel and um, put a clean piece down and then put your a dry towel back over with your um, cutting board and then add some um, books on top of that if you'd like. Hi everyone, I just wanted to uh, follow up to see how everyone's paper making turned out. I hope it was successful for you. Um, and I just wanted to kind of talk a, a little bit about some options that you could do with your paper and things like that. Um, first off, here's my little piece of paper that you saw in, you know, earlier that I was making. It came out pretty flat. Um, I also mentioned about adding some um, items that you could kind of decorate your paper with. And at the time that I was doing my video, I didn't really have those items and, and put those in my with my pulp. So of course you soaked your little um, piece of pulp that you got in your kit. Some of you might have gotten blue, some of you might have gotten green. But when you soak that um, and you watered it down, you know, quite a bit with, you can add wa a lot of water to it. You could then add as I mentioned in the video, there's, you know, the little tissue paper pieces that you got in your kit. You could really cut those up real finely and place those right in the water with your pulp. And then when you went to pull your sheet, 
you would gather some of those pieces. I wanted to show you some examples and I don't know if you'll see them um, real well, but I think you can. Uh, here's some examples of paper that were made a few years ago and um, that you can see strips, especially in this one, strips of little pieces of paper and stuff that you could add to it. I also mentioned um, in you know, this one too, you really can see those little strips of paper. So, you know, be creative. You might pull your first sheet and just do it green like I did or blue. And you might on your second sheet, because I have a feeling you'll probably have enough pulp to pull two sheets of paper. Maybe on that second sheet, you do want to add, um, if you want to add glitter right after you take it and you know out of the water and it's dripping a little and you could sprinkle a little bit of of something like that in there too the the petals of flowers or uh, natural items that you might want to put in you could do those two, you know two steps along the way you could put them in the pulp too just before you pull that sheet or once you do pull the sheet you might then add them to the top before you start patting and drying those. All right, so I hope everyone enjoyed making paper. Um, you saw the entire process. So if you wanna make more paper pulp, you can do it on your own and with some help of course, because the blender is involved in that. So parents and kids together can make some paper and you know, you could use it for a variety of, variety of things. You could cut this down into shapes if you wanted to. Um, I mean, you could write it, write on this or draw a picture on this. Um, just think about the possibilities, you know? You could, if you cut shapes, you could maybe create a little card for someone and send it off in the mail. Um, some people even add, um, they make handmade paper and they add little uh, seeds, like flower seeds and stuff, and then it, the flower seeds kind of dry in there, and then they send that off to somebody, and that person can plant that in the ground and the seeds will grow, you know? So that could be a possibility too. So anyways, thanks for joining me for this paper making uh, adventure, and keep making paper. <laughs>